Hi everyone and welcome back to the Hatter Dolls. In today's video I will show you how I do Eren Jaeger from Attack on Titan or how it's say in Japanese Shingeki no Kyojin. Eren since the first season of the anime he has been my favorite character and I always want to make a doll of him. And since the anime is soon to end, I decided to do it with his look from the last season. Since, come on, let's face it, he looks great. Of course, I made a concept art of the character giving my personal touches to his face so that it looks somewhat realistic with some anime touches. So, before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified when I apply new videos. And without more to say, Tatakai! <laughs> Excuse me. And without more to say, let's get started. For the base doll, I will use another doll of B from BTS since his proportion also semi appropriated for the character. I have nothing to do, so I cut his hair a little, and honestly, I felt that it looks better like how he had it before. I also choose B since the profile of his face is almost the same as Eren when I see this image. So, without a doubt, he's perfect for this project. Back to the video, as always, I'm gonna remove the head so I can cut his hair. After removing it with hot water, look how his hair turned out. <laughs> he looks so funny this way. And after removing it along with his face, the next step up is to make his hair. To make Eren's hair, I will use this ball of dark brown jar, which I made many wets of it as you can see. I love this color since it looks like natural hair. With the yarn wedge ready, I'm going to place the wig cut directly on his head. I learned in my lesson with the video of Itadori and I felt that this method is much safer to make hair with this type of dots. As you can see, I glue the hair inside the cut so that when I lift it out it can be seen this way. Now I will continue gluing the wets in this direction since the hair will be combed backwards. Now I'm going to comb it all back so that later I can moisten it with a wet brush. With a scalpel I will cut a little so that I can work on his hairstyle. As you can see, I divided the hair in sections so that I can work with it in a more comfortable way. Now with the scalpel I will cut the ponytail. I thought that making the bone was going to be difficult, and in the end it turned out to be easy to do. With my sculpting tool I will loosen some hair for a more natural look and continue cutting the rest. Now I'm going to cut the front strands very carefully. With the sculpting tool I'm going to give it the anime touch in the back. And finish protecting everything with hairspray. And this is how Eren's hair looks. This hairstyle certainly has been amazing to see every detail, including the ones in the back. Oh wait, I not done yet. I decided that this dog will have two changes of look. One with the tight hair and the other with loose hair as you can see in the second part of the last season. I only have to make some cuts with the scissors and the scalpel. And so we will have Eren's second look finish it. It is the first time that I made two wits for a single doll and in the end it has been worth it. Here I show you a comparison of both hairstyles so you can tell me in the comments which one is your favorite. Next I decided to blush his chest just like I did with the doll of Rimatsuoka. 
The first thing I'll do is sand the surface so the colors apply better. And after passing MSC to his chest, I begin to mark the petrols with chalk pastels and thus I take advantage so that the skin tone of the doll looks the same as that of the character and of course that it looks more natural with the colors that you see on screen. Eren in the last season has a very toned and defined chest and I try to achieve that marking some areas with a small brush and try to avoid some nosebleeds when I'm doing this. <laughs> Finishing the chest, I will continue marking the back in the same way. Now I will continue toning the arms. And this is what Eren's plot, <laughs> I mean, torso looks like. The details that I marked seriously look wonderful and very realistic. And as an extra detail, I also painted the dolls on the wear. <laughs> Do you remember the hands I used to make this video? At the end, I used them to make Eren's hands and give them the same color as his chest. And with that, it's time to repaint his face. Already with the head placing on the body of the doll, I start to draw the lines of his eyes after having passed in two layers of MSC. Coupling the expression of his face was a bit difficult in this mode, since Eren is not an Asian person, and I tried to make his eyes look more open when I passed the pencil. Eren has very thick and somewhat furrowed with eyebrows as seen in past seasons of the anime, being something characteristic of his character and I tried to make them as symmetrical as possible, since I felt that his eyebrows are one of his physical attractions. Then I continue to draw the expressive lines of his face, marking a line of his lips with a serious expression as seen now in the last season. With the lines of the face already drawn, I begin to pass the chalk pastels around it so that it combines with the color of his chest and thus take advantage of later to outline the lights and shadows. After having passing another layer of spray, I begin to draw the titan marks, which I will mark 6 dots until I reach the corner of his eye. And then I draw lines falling from his cheeks. Staying like this. Then I will do the same for the other side. And this is how both titan marks turned out on Eren's face. After that, I will outline them with more colors to give touch of deep and realism since I'm basing completely on my concept when I'm applying the colors. With a bluish green, I begin to apply the base of the color of his pupils. At this point, I begin to experiment with the color passing it to his eyelashes. Although, to be honest, it doesn't look bad either. After finishing with the pencil, I pass the details in black with watercolor. And with the white, I will apply lighter details. So 
that later I can use the acrylic. This metallic paint that you see here I'm going to use it to apply it directly to his pupils giving it this incredible finish. In the same way I also apply the shine to his eyes very carefully. And to finish with his face, I will pass in gloss varnish to the white of the eyes, the line of the mouth, and as an extra detail of the titan marks on his cheeks. And this is how Eren's face turned out. I must admit that I really like this expression, although I like to see it more when he's angry and the few times he smiles, which I really miss a lot. In the end, I think that I achieved an excellent finish it with it. Now let's see how he looks with his hair on. Oh my god, he looks so handsome. <laughs> but seriously, I done it. Good for me. The other week, I decided to touch up a bit with some cuts on the ends. And I can't believe it will also look good on him. <laughs> oh my god. But well, with his face finished, it's time to make his clothes. Normally I would use fabric for all clothes to use for my dolls, but I couldn't find any, so I had no choice but to go buy them to make them suitable for the doll. The grey fabric you see is cashmere, so I hope to go back using it in some next video. As you can see, I already marked the patterns on it just like I did with the black fabric for his jacket. Up camera I completely saw them as you can see. At first it was difficult to work with the cashmere one as I am not very familiar to working with fabrics of this type. The same goes for the black fabric, which I don't know what type it is, since I am not an expert in this type of thing, since I only rely on the softness and color when I'm going to use them. But in the end I achieved a decent result with them being my first time. For the pants, I simply reused the one that came with the doll and made some modifications to it to make it look more detailed along with the snap so it can be attached. I also did the same with the doll shoes, I just cut them and removed some detail with the scalpel, so they look like the ones Eren is wearing. With that I begin to paint them with a base of black paint and thus paint the details with lighter tones. and then finish by giving them a layer of matte varnish to protect the paint. Leaving both shoes in this way. This is how the cloth will look on the doll's body when I'm using another BTS doll as a mannequin. The details seriously make everything take shape. Speaking of details, with a black ribbon I made the belt which I painted the buckle with silver. And with this rope that you see here, I used it to decorate Eren's shirt. This is how the full clothes would look on the doll's body. And for a shirtless look, this is how it would look. That's right, this doll will have two looks since it is the reason for having contour in his chest. And with that, the clothes is done. Now that I have everything ready, I'm going to dress the doll. I try to do it as delicate as possible since I'm afraid to damage the blush of the joints and I will not like to waste material or things that I cannot repair with chalk pastels or paint. And with that, Eren Jaeger is ready.
I'm very happy to achieve a result like this in Eren. Without a doubt, it is one of my best words so far, and I'm not saying it just because he's my favorite character in the anime. The end of Attack on Titan is soon to come, and personally, it has been a carousel of emotion with each episode. It was too entertaining as well as its story and animation. It is strange that I cried in the first episode? I don't know, maybe I'll do it in the last one too, which is very likely. <laughs> but anyway, I'll just tell you to give your heart to this amazing anime if you consider yourself a fan of this work. Well, thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and if you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel to see more content like this. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok as The Harder Dolls. That's all for today, guys. My name is Eric, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Rumbling, rumbling, it's coming, rumbling, rumbling.